Hello, Robbie Wong here, going to play another quick draft. This has been going well, and we get a wish. <laughs> uh, where is it? So, if you, this card is unplayable and limited. <laughs> um, it's a rare red dragon. Is pretty good. I'm not really interested in green blue. Each opponent. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with the red dragon. Oh look, it's the dice payoff. Yeah, let's see. We also have the black blue. We have white removal and we have charm sleep i'm gonna take the trickster on the off chance that uh we get another one of these and enough dice rolling to work yeah that's that's a big no thanks uh, dawn bring your cleric so if we are red blue dice rolling we're gonna want this if we end up being Oh, this is good. Well, not good removal. Well, this is removal. And red black treasures. And then there's also this precipitous drop. I'm going to take precipitous drop. So we've kind of got red black, red blue at the same time. Displacer beast. Hmm. Deadly dispute. Okay, so we're, we're getting pulled into multiple directions. I think I'm gonna take the red, I'm gonna take the red removal, just put it in the removal pile. Field Thief, another improvised weaponry. Okay, so we're, we're starting to take a couple of steps towards red-black. Which I liked. So let's, let's put that there for now. Okay, we'll take a Swarming Goblins. Put it in our dice rolling pile. Hmm... Okay, getting getting to the nitty gritty here. I think I'm gonna take this shambling gas. We could take brazen dwarf uh, and put it in the in the dice rolling pile, but it, it it's kind of uh, not doing it for me. Let's go plundering barbarian. Let's move this over here. <laughs> oh, this is all kind of boo hiss. Um, Sure, we'll take it and not be too happy about it. Come to the null camp. Eh, we'll take this as a, a clunky finisher. Uh, well, if we're going to pick an off color, we'll pick green. If we're going to pick an off pick color, we're going to pick green. Deadly dispute. What does this do again? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. My not happy with pile. There it is. Sure. All right, we open a good green card. We I also so Moonblaze Cleric. These aren't our colors. Drider is okay. I'm not really interested in blue. I'm gonna take the rear. We are we are we are behind on rares. Okay. There's an owl bear. Should we be black green? We lose. Okay. 
Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's put these here. We'll take the owlbear and put it here in the green pile. Okay. So black is kind of drying up. Boots, plundering barbarian. Yeah, we'll take we'll take a plundering barbarian. We need more two drops. Well, there's a two drop, wrong color. Okay, so I, I think we're, we're 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 kind of at a critical point here. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna commit to green, then we need to commit now. So just kind of looking at. Yeah. This is this is getting way more interesting to me. And this is a good two drop. This is this is good for black green. Oh boy. Choices, choices. We're gonna take the basilisk. We're, we're we're pretty split here, but there's another green white precipitous drop. Eyes of the beholder. I think we'll take another drop. Yeah, maybe it's black green. Worm. All right, this is the last expensive spell we're taking. <laughs> we're, we're, we need a. Uh, we need need we need cheaper creatures. We need more two drops. looking a little bit more like black green than anything else ah, and we draw a very very late eyes of the beholder we open a mind flare splice your beast yeah we'll take the rear we have a we have a set to complete here all right so lightfoot rogue Looking good. Reaper Talisman. Oh, there's a magic missile, though. <sighs> I, th I think we're black green. I think we're black green. So would I rather have Underless Basilisk or Lightfoot Rogue? I think we want the Basilisk. Oh, there's a blue dragon. All right, we'll take the Death Priest. All right, I think we're I think we're gonna move off of red here. So for black green, I like spawn. But we do we do need more cheap stuff. Okay, it's another blue dragon. Uh, Druid class. 
It's more for life gain. That's really expensive. Hmm. Not a lot here. Take the uncommon. Grim Wanderer. Only if something died. It's expensive. Don't have a whole lot of. Okay, this is ramp. Hey, the light bulb road came back. We do have expensive stuff, and we don't have enough one drops. Alright. I don't, I don't think we're playing this. We have, we have a lot of cards. Okay, so you know we started favoring red and shifted off of that. That's God. This is this is this is a chunky curve here. So let's get rid of this since we have plenty of really expensive things. Uh, we probably don't want another zombie ogre, and then we have just a little bit of removal. Let's pitch that. So, all right, we're not a life gain or a dice, so let's go ahead and throw that back. And then we have what one, two, three. We have a little bit of enter the dungeon, not a whole lot, but I think this is this is where we're at. So. One more cut. Could cut a land. <laughs> Jim Davis says he in best of one he only he only plays sixteen lands. But we, we have so many we have so much chunk at the top end. Let's pitch a two drop. Let's get rid of Sepulchral. We don't have a whole lot that we want to sacrifice. She's expensive. Let's see if she runs. Faints. Okay. Two, three, three. Okay, we have all our colors. We have all the mana we could ever want. Sure. No value, Dawnbringer Cleric. I dig it. Not something that we really want to drop, so. Looking for a more high value target for this. We're also not in a rush to do that, so let's. Uh, is this an instant? No, it's an enchantment. <laughs> oh, if you complete the dungeon. Then it, then it could potentially die. Okay. Didn't know that. Play the bear. Bigger than a grizzly bear. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to get to Eyes of the Beholder and all of our other expensive top end. So we wouldn't mind. Uh, I guess we need one more land for Purple Worm. Two more lands. And then... Does that mean 
No, because this just does minus two, minus two. So that's still not worth it. Um, just heading on up. Yeah, doesn't want to block. Doesn't surprise me. So we have a four drop, and again, this this balancing makes enchantments. That's it's not perpetual. So hopefully they'll block this. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not. in my head it's a, a, an instant speed. But again, it doesn't do us any good to do it ahead of time. Oh man, this is this is that's pretty great. That's pretty great. And they're heading on the. So if we shrink it, it doesn't do anything. They might trade, probably won't. So they're, get, they're getting some pretty sick value off of this teleportation circle, but. Blinky, blinky. They have a trick. The one mana, if it dies, come back. That'd be pretty awesome for them. They do. Wow. Incredible. Okay. Well, we'll eyes of the beholder it and hopefully stop this gravy train. So turning their one mana spell into a removal spell for a three drop, pretty good. They got an extra venture into the dungeon off of that as well. Wow, okay. Just full on. Again, they've they've chosen to go down the, the long one. So hopefully they're out of... Okay, this is two skeletons, right? Her tales of glory light a fire in the souls of the next generation of adventurers. Oh, they have three mana. They're trying to figure out if they want to... They want to gamble. Yeah. Alright. Head head, herd Gorger's next. So we'll rebalance our life a little bit. Just get rid of that. And go back to just gaining life. That was... Pretty, pretty sick on their part. Oh, they can, uh, they don't really care about life with this. Okay, I think we, we still hit Hill Gorger, Hill Jack, Gorger, uses our mana, rebalances to life. We'll precipitous drop this next turn. Sick deck, bro. They're gonna they're gonna finish this dungeon. And I don't think our removal is gonna be able to keep up with what's going on. Uh, let's kill this. Let's take four. Oh right. Okay. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Moving on, game two. Yeah, really watching teleportation circle flex with with creatures and enter the battlefield. I mean, they were they were basically drawing a card every turn, so good for them. That's cool. Dreamer. All right, we've got a curve. <laughs> we can try and run this into something. So can't, 
cast this unless this dies. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Or we could just drop this. I mean, it is lifelink. Let's be accurate. I can't play this next turn. I'm missing the second black. Huzzah! Alright, so we make uh, treasure. We play this thing. We say go, and then next turn we can play this. Goblin Warlock. This is a goblin? Who knew? Deal five. Wait. Do we want this or do we want this in the 2-2? Two -two? That's a good question. I think at some point we'll get to use this and then guaranteeing that this goes off without a hitch. Sounds exciting to me, so. We'll use the treasure, burn this. We'll move to our end step. Well, yeah, sure. All right, so you, you, you took care of our five power. What about this four power? The untap, hopefully, with Deadly Dispute up. Wow, that is a huge butt. Two five. I was aware of this card, but actually looking it on the board with five toughness is like, ugh, gross. So this, this can be unblockable. All right. So we'll drop this, we'll kill that, we'll make another Only so many portable holes. And we can deadly dispute this. Sure. Ugh, this is drop this is get bigger and Alright, not where we want to be. Alright, this is a good draw minus this. So we'll attack. We'll sack this and even if we don't okay so what about izing this while they're tapped out that worked out that worked out great okay we have to forego our zombies sorry it was definitely worth it not getting a 2-2 is worth clearing this Finisher. <laughs> All right. What do we draw? Oh, okay. You know, that trades. Only my end step. All right, so I can't trade this and expect a zombie. All the Dawnbringer clerics. Still not bigger than the Albear. Destroy target artifact. This is a sorcery. I don't, I don't, do I get my zombie back? Okay, so... Let's blow this up. 
Hold on. Where am I in this? Not close. I think I'd rather get rid of this. And then I can attack with these two, and if they take the damage, that's great. But then I'm losing I'm losing that race, so let's just send Albert in. A very fast trade for my opponent. Let's pay one, let's make a zombie. Okay, they're stalled out a little bit. That's good. Death touch. Getting value off of the skeletons, and now I feel more comfortable attacking with Null Priest. What? 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 Dang it. Oh no, it's still fine. Okay, so we attack with all of these. This will get a little bigger. Yeah, and now it will survive. Not gonna say anything. <laughs> I I should have checked the the I should have checked the auto tapper. Should have checked the auto tapper. <sighs> yeah, Winston. Let's see. I'm on the Discord now, Winston. Oh. Whenever you cast a creature spell, well, this will be good eventually. All right, so attacking with Null Hunter means that they can throw enough stuff to kill it now. I have to cast a creature. So that means that these don't count. But making this a 4-4 can just trade Dawnbringer for it. I think I chill out and I wait for removal. Although the, the longer we wait, the worse this gets for us. Oh, I see what you're saying. If I attack with two skeletons, it'll, I'll have one mana up and I'll still end the turn with two skeletons. I'm, okay, so if I complete a dungeon, I'll get a 2-2 two, two green wolf. Alright, come on, Death Priest. Carry us over the... the Oh, this this bozo. All right, attacking with two is not as valuable anymore. This has reach. This has ward one. We really like a creature. Like opponents sitting here with their fifty feet of rope and their cleric class, and they're getting a lot of value off of that. And we're our our skeleton stream is running thin. Uh, I'll trade this. Take six. Yeah, man. That's unfortunate. Oh. Man. Let's cast this thing. <laughs> I'll happily sacrifice a forest. I think they should get rid of portable hole. This isn't doing anything. Okay. So attacking with these two triggers this, but I don't want to trade Null Hunter. Well, this is this is huge. Like if we trade Null Hunter for Devoted Paladin, but I don't want to I don't want to trade this. This is too small now. Okay, so they have to trade 
like devoted paladin for gorger oh this is this is an escalating problem this black god horror also is not flying <laughs> they went down the Do I have a sack outlet that I'm missing? You're right. If I sack if I sack a skeleton, I get it back anyways. I have mana floating around. Man, Winston. This is what happens when we put our heads together. This is unblockable if it attacks alone. Oh my gosh. Uh... We're gonna we're gonna get Dungeon to the Mad Mage twice in two games. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough. <laughs> I mean, okay, so we get this in the 4-4. Four -four. These things are just getting bigger every turn. I mean, they're just going to eat it here, right? And then we just get a tap skeleton. Yeah. That was really good advice whenever the second skeleton was going to was going to get through. It's like I'm not I'm not I'm like spending one mana to deal two damage. I mean, I don't think this game is going to come down to them being at 15 life, but They can send this in alone. Yeah. We the gas, if they block the gas, I can plink the yuan T before they make this bigger. Ah, now they're going to exile it now. <laughs> no! <sighs> yeah, I think, I think so. <laughs> We're so far behind. Thanks, Winston.
What's our best draw? Removal, right? Instant speed removal. We can get like a... If we, if we draw our second eyes of the beholder, we can maybe, maybe punk through them with this. And like we roll a, a 20 on this. This is this is clutch. Maybe it's maybe it's just removed. No, because then there's they're still they're still venturing. Oh, can I mill them? That's that's the line. <laughs> kill them, kill them by by decking them. I think we're just on that. Like, I'm gonna stop trying to kill them and just hold down the fort. It's cowardly, but they'll forgive me. All right, five turns. So then I think I drain Dark Pool. All right. Uh, not. Not anything that changes the equation. Because, ah, I mean, like, we just... We don't care. As, as long as this doesn't have trample. That's delicious. Okay, so I mean, we could we could try it where it's like we attack. No, it's just... They're gonna just stack this up. Sure. Just trying to make the biggest monster possible. Sure. <laughs> Look at draw card. Yes! Yes, draw card. Alright. Clock accelerated. I was thinking doom and gloom, and now we're okay. Just a plant that doesn't kill us. So there's like these four cards need to drastically shift the balance of what's going on. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna feed you to it because portable hold. Uh, trample check. Just work one. Two cards. <clears throat> yeah, I need I need to save this for a flyer. Or if they can give it trample in their white blue deck. Or I don't know. You you flew too close to the sun, my friend. Too close. Actually, with two cards left, let's say they play like a dragon. We have Reach here. Because it, it, it becomes 11 toughness. Yeah, you know what? No. 
Uh, you know what? If they have a way to kill Death Priest, then that becomes a 1-1. One, one. That's slightly less valuable. This is always a 2-2. Two, two. This is not necessarily a 2-2. Two, two. Alright. Draw a Clattering Skeletons. Two cards. One card. No, please kill yourself by completing the last. There's lack of tension. Yeah, the Yon T. My my cousin Winston with the Yon T suggestion ed ended up really mattering here. God, are you drawing? You are drawing a card. That's it. After this combat step, there's nothing. Oh, I can't pay for Ward 1. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Alright, so... Seven six on your four four five four on your yes yes I'm gonna text my cousin. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end on that high note and uh, finish this up in a second video this evening that was very exciting thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one